Am I the asshole for telling my son that I would not stop inviting his ex to family functions? Edit. I was not expecting this many comments. I only want to add that my former Dill is not a controlling or abusive shrew who drove my son to cheat. She is a lovely human being who was also a very good wife to my son. He even admitted that she was completely not at fault, but that he unexpectedly fell in love when he met his new fiance. Nobody in this situation, including my son, thinks my former Dill did anything to cause my son to cheat. My son, 44M, divorced his wife, 43F, after having an affair with a much younger woman, I think 23F. He and his ex have two kids, 12, 6, and his ex has almost full custody of them. He gets them one weekend per month. He just got engaged to the woman he had an affair with and told me I'm not allowed to invite his ex to family functions anymore because his fiance is uncomfortable being around her. I told him no and now he's angry with me. My reasoning is. She has custody of their children the vast majority of the time and I want to be able to see my grandchildren frequently and not only once a month. She has basically been my daughter for 20 years and it's not like their divorce is going to change the way I feel about her. And she is actually closer to most of the family than he is since she was always the one who kept us up to date about the kids, scheduled family outings with us, and even spent more time with us than he did. Also, her family lives in another country and we have been her family for decades, I'm not going to take that away from her because my son decided to leave her. However, I recognize that I'm still really angry and hurt about my son's actions towards his ex-wife and kids so maybe I'm acting out of anger. Am I the asshole for refusing to exclude his ex from our family functions? Not the asshole. His fiancée should be uncomfortable. She deserves it. Not the asshole. He's divorcing her. You aren't. He and his fiancé can act like adults for a few hours during family functions and be polite. The ex can do likewise. Since the ex has near full custody of the kids, cutting her out would mean cutting off your grandkids. They've been through enough thanks to your son's irresponsibility. They don't need to lose their grandparents as well. And if your son and his fiancé were decent people, they'd be glad to go to family functions where his ex brought the kids, because it would give him extra time to see his kids. Not the asshole. Tell your son he can leave his midlife crisis at home. I can't imagine it's comfortable for your grandchildren's mother either and unlike the affair partner she didn't make the choice to be in this situation. People are supposed to feel uncomfortable for doing shitty things. Edit OMG y'all are cute thanks. Wasn't expecting awards for common sense statements. Not the asshole. My dad also had an affair with a much younger woman and expected his parents to completely cut my mom out of their lives after 20 years. They've been divorced 10 plus years now and my mom takes care of his parents because he moved abroad. They have dinner together every second Sunday, she does their shopping for them, during COVID she did basically everything for them and I know how thankful they are to have her in their lives. We live an hour away from them and she makes that drive anytime they need something. Your family is who you want it to be, and if you want her around even if it's just for the grandkids she'll appreciate not being tossed aside by you too. Not the asshole. I think it's extremely admirable that you're still including her and not writing her off completely as many in-laws do after separations, divorces. She is very lucky to have you in her life. Your son is acting very selfishly and not considering what's in the best interest of his children. He's prioritizing a woman over his own children and he needs a wake-up call. You are doing the right thing. This is honestly refreshing because this sub is usually filled with nightmare stories of evil in-laws. Your son is an asshole. He doesn't want his ex there because he wants to erase the shitty thing he did to a good woman, having her there will always put a spotlight on it. He should have thought of that before cheating. Your son is an immature child that doesn't want to face the consequences of his actions and expects the world to coddle him. You dill is way better without him, and you would be too. At least she brings your grandkids around. What's he bringing to the table? Am I the asshole for telling everyone the truth why my brother didn't come to our family reunion? A little backstory for context, my brother's girlfriend and my wife got into an argument four years ago. My brother Jack's girlfriend Danielle tends to hold grudges and cut people out of her life when she isn't happy with their actions. The fight my wife and Danielle got into was over a mutual friend, my brother's best friend Henry. Danielle didn't like Henry and told my brother it was either her or Henry, my brother broke up with her but eventually cut ties with his best friend and got back together with Danielle. Danielle told my wife to stop inviting Henry to cookouts, parties, and events. My wife said no, Henry is a family friend and is more than welcome to come to anything we host. 
Danielle said she needed to rethink their friendship feeling my wife didn't side with her. My wife basically told her to grow up and f off. My wife and Danielle haven't seen or spoken to each other since the argument. My wife did apologize numerous times saying she was out of line. Danielle won't accept her apology and by doing so had my brother pick a side. It has been a real nightmare where my brother has tried numerous times to reconcile, tried to meet his niece who is two and come to gatherings. Danielle gives him an ultimatum every time so he chooses to stay away to avoid conflict with his GF. For the past four years every time we've had a family get together we've made excuses for Danielle and Jack saying they are busy or had prior obligations. My parents said Danielle's biggest concern is family members will think of her differently if they find out she's the one preventing my brother from attending family gatherings. She tends to put on act for family that she's sweet and innocent. Behind the curtain she controls my brother and has a very bad temper. We had a family reunion over the weekend and once again everyone asked where Danielle and Jack were. I finally told everyone the truth that Danielle was still upset with my wife and she's refusing to make amends and my brother isn't allowed to go anywhere without her. My parents said they have tried to talk to my brother alone but Danielle won't let that happen. They asked how he liked being an uncle. I told them the truth that he's never met his niece. He's made a couple of attempts but Danielle wouldn't let him so he hasn't been able to. The look on their faces was shock, mortified, and confused. Some asked for me to go into detail so I did. And others kind of just smiled and walked away. Now my parents are saying I'm an a-hole because family is going to look at Danielle differently and I've made it awkward for any other family gatherings in the future for my brother and Danielle. Edit for everyone asking what Henry did to Danielle Henry told Jack that Danielle was trying to isolate him. She didn't like the fact that Henry told Jack to break up with her after six months of dating. Danielle didn't like how close Henry and Jack were. They would play golf together and do things she doesn't like to do so she felt excluded. She gave my brother an ultimatum saying Henry was threatening their relationship. Jack told Henry so Henry spoke up and called her a bee. Henry would try to point out other girls when they went to the bar to sway Jack's mind. As a girlfriend she felt he was trying to break them up, which he was not the asshole. I feel bad it seems your brother is stuck in an abusive relationship. Who cares about Danielle's feelings? Your parents should be trying to help your brother out of this cycle. Edit. Holy upvotes Batman. Having seen some of the comments left by op. I do believe Henry isn't the best person either. Trying to get him to cheat isn't cool and he should have just focused on her issues. Unfortunately it seems a lot of people around Jack aren't the best. But Henry's actions don't negate Danielle's controlling issues with everyone else in Jack's life. Not the asshole, but also info what was Danielle's issue with Henry. Oh no, people know an abuser is an abuser. Not the asshole, but damn. I hope someone in your family is telling your brother about resources for abused partners and that they're willing to help him get out. Not the asshole. They aren't going to look at Danielle differently. They are just going to finally see Danielle. NTA and you are probably doing a great thing for your brother. His girlfriend is controlling and abusive. Your parents have tried to help him, you've tried to help him, and it hasn't worked. Perhaps more family reaching out might get him to realize what she is doing and get him to get rid of her quicker. Not the asshole it's about time Danielle got shown for who she really is. A controlling grudge holder. I feel bad for your brother, sounds like he could do way better. Am I the asshole for packing my dad's lunch but not my brother-in-law and refusing when demanding to? My, 17F. Parents have been remodeling the house. My dad tore a big chunk in the back and he, my brother, 19M, and my sister's husband, 27M, have been cleaning and picking the rubbish that was left. Is important to say that I do not like my brother-in-law at all. He's quite misogynistic, disrespectful and has no boundaries. I know how badly this speaks of my family, but my brother and father are nothing like that and they too believe that he's awfully wrong. Here is so much we can do when my sister claims she's happy with this. I try to interact as less as I can with him, and I feel uncomfortable in his presence because until a few years ago he used to make fun of me for anything I did. He's also used to have my sister or my mom do things for him like cooking, serving him his own plate, laundry, child caring, anything. That being said, my father and my brother-in-law usually leaves at the same hour to work. My dad works in construction and brother-in-law at a company. I've been doing my dad's lunch for two years now since I got a liking to cooking. I cook dinner for all of us and I only pack some for him. For example, during this instance, I made enchiladas so I packed him a few, 
with a side of lettuce, sour cream and green salsa in small containers, a bag of chips and a few chunks of sliced fruit, apple and pear. I also pack him a water and coke. When they came to the kitchen, with my mom, I told my dad that his lunch was already in his car so he could eat something and leave without worrying, and my brother-in-law said, what about me? I just shrugged my shoulders and said that I left him a container in the island and he was more than welcome to pack his own stuff, that there were waters and cokes in the fridge. He gave me a dirty look and asked why I didn't do it for him and I said, you're not my dad so. My mom got in the middle and told me to start pack my BIL's lunch and he smirked when she said that, but I just sat with my plate and said no, that he could pack his own lunch or buy something at his job. My mom said that I was embarrassing her but my dad cut all for this when he told my brother-in-law to stop fighting and pack his own stuff because I already cooked for all of us. He ended up saying he would eat something at work and left early. My mom tried to berate me, but my dad cut her out and said that my brother-in-law is already an adult. She said, but she packs your lunch, and my dad said, yeah, but I don't demand it. When he left my mom called me a nasshole and that she raised me better. Am I the asshole? ETA. I posted this and got distracted with homework. Wow. I didn't thought it would get this much attention. Thank you all for your judgments. I'll be reading comments and answering some now. ETA. Thanks everyone for all your kind comments about my dad. He's truly is the best and I love him with all my heart. I'm really happy that you're saying awesome things about him. He hasn't read the post or comments, but my brother is. He's happy and thankful too. Not the asshole your brother-in-law is not your responsibility and he's an asshole. Nothing requires you to serve him. Your mom can pack his lunch as she wants that so badly. Not the asshole. Your brother-in-law sounds terrible. And your mom sucks for making you into a slave. Your dad is awesome and right. Your brother-in-law can go fuck himself. I am so disappointed in your mother it hurts. NTA and I love your dad. It is not your responsibility. And your mom shouldn't request you to do so either she can tell your sister to do it if it needs to be done so bad. Your bro-in-law is a jackass. Not the asshole your brother-in-law is ta. Why would you demand a 17-year-old or anyone to pack your lunch especially when he treats you like SHT? Your mom and your sister is enabling his disgusting behavior. 100 PTS to your dad for defending you. Not the asshole. Tell your mother that she raised you to be a strong, independent woman who will not be bossed around. Not the asshole why is your mother enabling this behavior? I understand why your sister is putting up with it. She married into that trash. But your mother should not be lowering you to his standards of living. Good thing your dad is there to stop the BS. Am I the asshole for ditching the date and leaving my partner stood up? I am a 27F attorney, dating a 33M programmer. He's constantly late for things and has always had problems with keeping track of time. There have been times when we have made plans for a date and he would just go missing in action for hours, only to respond after he was already late. Given how hectic my work schedule is, I try really hard to set time for him on the weekends and he has often won. Full on not responded when asked about plans too. Has left been waiting alone in restaurants for at least an hour each time. I know he has mental health issues and has struggled with going out to meet people so I try to be more patient, forgiving but sometimes I do still end up blowing up at him when he is late. This time it was our anniversary, I found the place, booked in way in advance and got there on time. I texted him asking, hey are you on your way, and he left me on read. After waiting one hour, I basically texted him that I was incredibly pissed that he's doing this again. I left and he eventually told me that he got there 1.45 hours after when we planned to meet. He then called me say that he was really sorry, please come back and that he was really trying. I lost my temper and yelled at him that he didn't care about my time, he always leaves me waiting like a dog for when it suits him and that the least he could do was at least warn me that he was going to be late. He said that I didn't respect him for trying, his mental health and how difficult it was for him to even meet me. He admitted that sometimes, once he's late he even procrastinates more because he doesn't want to deal with the consequences of it. I admit that I am a stickler for time. Time is very important to me and now with work, it literally means I can't do other things because I just spend so much time waiting for him. I am so pissed because it just feels like irresponsibility. Am I the asshole for expecting him to be on time or at least tell me if he's going to be late? Not the asshole. Why are you still with him? I believe you can find better. Hard not the asshole. You didn't leave him stood up, if anything he stood you up. If he can't make your relationship a priority now, how can you expect him to in the future? 
cut your losses and move on because you can certainly do way better than this fool. Not the asshole. Please dump this man. He doesn't respect you. And saying the phrase, mental health, isn't just a catch-all that allows someone to be a shitty boyfriend and get away with it with no consequence. Not the asshole. Tell him that in the future you'll wait for 15 minutes after the agreed to time, and then leave. Then do it. No exceptions. Not even if he's texting you at 14 minutes, saying he's on his way. After a time or two of this, if you don't back down, he'll find a way to be better. Not the asshole. Not showing up until almost two hours later for a date isn't what I would call, late. I would call it, not going on the date. How long have you been dating? Not the asshole. It's understandable that people are sometimes late, and some people are always late, but to be late be one hour and 45 minutes is taking the P.S.S. without even letting you know. Also, how embracing for you to sit there every time waiting for him to turn up and you're just left sitting there by yourself.